coronary study earlier today. Andre? Well, thank you very much for having me. Uh, so the, as you know, the coronary trial, um, it was a, it's a large uh, multinational trial. We recruited patients from 19 countries. Uh, we, we randomized a total of 4,752 patients, which uh, it's probably the biggest trial in cardiac surgery um, so far. But um, so the um, we had a, the, the we, our surgeons were expert in that techniques. So I defined that as two years of experience as a staff surgeon. I had done more than 100 cases uh, of that technique for whatever specific technique. But we end up with surgeons extremely experienced, and many of them have done hundreds of uh, each techniques uh, at the start of the trial. So uh, the primary outcome, we found no difference in the primary outcome, which is a composite of death, MI, stroke, and renal failure. Um, we uh, look at so other outcomes for uh, cardiovascular death. There was no difference. The results are totally flat for that, which is uh, against, it goes, it goes against uh, the results of Ruby, which show an excess on mortality. Um, we look at the rate of revascularization. Again, for PCI, redo cabbage, or both together, there's no difference. Uh, would also is uh, different than Ruby. Um, the um, we look at um, which is I find personally very interesting. At between 31 days and one year, you can see that of, uh, this, the curves are, are, are splitting a little bit on the Kaplan Meier uh, graph, and we'll have to see uh, what will be the result at, at five years. The trial is a, it's a five-year trial, so we have four four more years of follow-up to do. Um, so I guess uh, I'll have to come back for that. But um, we, interesting, uh, this time we released the quality of life and neurocognitive data. Um, what I found interesting and very reassuring personally is that the quality of life of the patient increased after cardiac surgery. Uh, so when they leave the hospital, their quality of life is the same as before the surgery, but then you see quickly coming up at 30 days and furthermore at one year. Uh, it's, I guess my colleagues will agree that it's reassuring to know that your patients are doing or feeling better after the surgery you have done. Uh, but uh, there's no difference between the two techniques. And the same thing for the neurocognitive functions. Uh, there were no uh, clear difference between the two techniques. So it's, um, it's a very um, neutral trial so far. Uh, we'll have to see it uh, down the road at five years. But uh, our conclusion is that uh, surgeons who are experts in that technique can um, do that technique without any problems. So the, uh, what's that? Uh, the, uh, this <laughs> can translate that. But the the um, the Ruby trial that was hanging around our, over our head that you know uh, these results, the current results uh, are totally different. So I think the surgeons around the world who are experienced cardiac uh, off pump cardiac surgeon can do off pump surgery uh, without any uh, uh, any difficulty or any risk for their patients. The on so the question is which patient will benefit more than one technique than the other. Uh, most surgeons have the feeling that uh, sicker, older patients uh, tend to benefit better than the uh, younger uh, patients. But that will need further analysis. We have some data that came out, but uh, I guess in the next year we'll uh, try to put, uh, put that on paper and publish it. Where actually you can see the, if you look at the hazard ratio, uh, there's an, uh, a nice graph I didn't present today. It was It's post-tech analysis, but you can see the hazard ratio between the two techniques goes below one as soon as you cross the euro score of three, and then it stays down. So um, I think that's the future. Personally, in my view, is the, my future research in the next few years is to uh, identify better which patient benefit from the off bond. But conversely, which is as important, if not more important, is to find which patient do not benefit from off bond and should be done on bond. Thank you very much, Andre. And our last uh, presenter, Dr. Jan Lavichka uh, from Charles University in Prague, the Czech Republic, uh, who presented the results of the Prague 6 trial. Jan. Mm -hmm. 